So here is my new Ford Focus. Uh, the problem is that I got the base model and it did not have the driving lights. So I thought, well, it can't be that hard to put them in. So I did some research and uh, here's a tutorial on how I did it. First of all, I thought that Ford would sell the lights as a kit, but they don't, unfortunately. And I couldn't find much stuff on the internet. Uh, I did find one online store which sells the lights, blinglights.com. Uh, I just went online, did a search for Ford Focus lights, and they had some, and they shipped them out straight away. They were fantastic. They arrived in about three or four days, and I'm, I'm in Australia, and they came from the States, so they were here quite quickly. Now, if you've got a base model Ford Focus, you'll know that the where the driving lights are is replaced by just a black, matte black sort of filling space. So I had to order the chrome bezel online from eBay. And again, just to do a quick search and I found some. So the lights arrived really quickly, which was great. Uh, and they were fantastically packaged. All the wiring was there, all the instructions were there and uh, the lights are a really solid build and the wiring was all very self-explanatory and uh, pretty easy an easy sort of setup but I was what I was expecting was that these lights would just slot straight into the Ford into the space in the Ford but unfortunately uh, they were not going to go in because there is absolutely nothing on the Ford to slot them into so you need to mount them now the instructions give you a, a quite a sort of a easy way of mounting them rather than sort of having to mount them to the car you actually mount them on the bezel itself on the bezel itself uh, and this worked quite well so you'll see in this next section on how I did that so what I did there's the there's the forward lighting bezel uh, and I read in the instructions that an easy way to fit the, the lamp is to get some piping, secure the piping in the, the bezel like that, and then to mount the light into the, uh, into the plastic tubing there. And as you can see, it's actually quite a snug fit. So now I'm going to just cut this down. I'm going to cut this down so it's... Um, obviously doesn't sit as high and it's is, is got enough uh, height to secure the bolt through there into the light fitting so I'm going to go down to the workshop now and, and probably cut a, an inch off that and then we'll see how we go so I've been down in the uh, workshop and now I have this sleeve um, aryl dieted or you know, epoxy resined into the uh, into the lighting bezel and of course now you can then slide the light and this creates a fantastic housing for the uh, light now to sit in I'll um, have to spray paint this chrome make it look a bit sharper but um, so yeah now I'm about to sort of fit the lights in see how we go so there you go that's what it's going to look like the lights are going to fit all the way in all the way in there so now I've pushed the light fitting into the plastic sleeve uh, and there are the wires and it's all nice and level and uh, I think it looks pretty sharp. Right, let's go and uh, let's go and try it in the car. Okay, so I just went to try and fit them into the car and the housing, the housing up here is coming up too high to fit uh, all the way through the socket and I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to cut out any of the Ford part but Obviously, there's heaps of there's heaps of excess plastic here. I can trim off and make it uh, and make it a much lower profile, and then just come up for the bolts and then back down again. So uh, back to the workshop. See how we go. Well, now you can see I've cleared away a lot of the um, the excess plastic. Obviously, kept two raised bits up there for the for the screws, but much lower uh, profile. So hopefully now that will slide in much better there you go
Well, here we have pretty much the finished product. Bolted in, we've got a bolt in there. Um, and I've tried them in the car and it snaps in and it fits. There you go. And there you have it. There's basically just clip clip back in as you uh, as you got them out. That's what they look like. I'll have to uh, power them up now. Now I'm not going to wire them up myself. I'm going to get an auto electrician to do that. But uh, there you go. And there's one on the other side. Looks pretty cool. So all in all, it took about a day to do. Um, my advice is take your time and be really careful not to scratch the, the lighting socket. So I basically did everything from the outside in. I mounted the light in the bezel and then the bezel then snaps back in or snaps into place. If I was to do it again, I would probably raise the car up and mount the lights from the, you know, underneath the, the bonnet, so to speak. But you've got to pull off all the mud guards and there's baffles and there's a baffle underneath the engine and there's a skirting and I just didn't feel comfortable in pulling everything off because I never can get it back together and I always have leftover spare parts. So there you have it. I hope this helps, helps somebody else put lights into their car. Remember, read the instructions, take care of your car, and if you're unsure of anything, seek professional help.